there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi! Hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week, month, evening, morning, overnight, all of that good stuff. I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to leave in the comments how things are going for you. So yeah, um, doing a little walk and chat, vlog and chat. Let me turn on my outdoor walk. Um, I forgot the little uh, microphone muffler at home, so hopefully the wireless mic does a decent job of muffling any wind. It's not too crazy today. It's pretty pretty quiet so as far as the wind goes, but you may get a little buffeting here and there. I'll try to clean it up if it's, if it's that bad, <laughs> but hopefully not. But yeah, hope everything's going well. We're just out here at the dog park for a little hike. Um, yeah, it's uh, Thursday at the time of filming this, and I am on day two of a little... Oh, okay. It's like I thought that dog was running towards us, but they're not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The dog took off. I hope that's a, hope he's okay. He's running around the parking lot and his owners are wigging out. Hopefully he's okay, let's see. Um, he's coming back, looks like. Jeez, Franklin, you're running out into the street. He ran out in the street, Apollo. Okay. Um, so yeah. I'm on a day two of a long weekend. I, I took Tuesday through Friday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday through Friday off. Just had some PTO. Thought I'd use it to hang out with the boy and just kind of get caught up on stuff and just kind of regroup and just do a little mental health week, I guess. Um, so yeah, yesterday I just kind of hung out. It was a kind of a nothing day. Uh, just hung out with Apollo, lots of cuddles. Um, it's been really hot here this week in Colorado. We're in the high 90s every day. Today it is currently, I think it's like 95, 96. So I've got my backpack today. Usually I don't bring that with me on our dog walks, but I have it full of water and I've got his bowl. So we're just going to kind of do our thing. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, big boy. Um, yeah, that way I can refresh him with water. I'm thinking we'll go on a longer walk. We might do the big loop or do a couple laps just because I don't have anything going on until tonight. So might as well get his exercise in because yesterday we were definitely being bums, he and I. Apollo, come on. Come on, big boy. Um, we were being bums. I just did some general laundry. Nothing too crazy. Got some diamond painting done and just kind of hung out. I did a lot of uh, updates for content creation, uh, but we'll get to that. So yeah, did some of that stuff. Nothing too insane. I did have my work phone on me and it kept going off and like I kept taking a peek at my emails. I was like, oh, I could jump in and comment on that or help out, but I was like, no, you took the time off. And I know nobody's expecting me to be working during my time off, but I always get the itch when I have my work phone on me to like, just take a look, you know? Apollo, come on, let's go. Come on, baby. Let's go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Hi. Hi, buddy. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I can sometimes be bad about that, but I'm really trying to just like churn it all off for this week, the rest of this week. Um, so yeah, I have tomorrow and the weekend. And yeah, we have, have a couple hikes that I want to go on. We were going to go on one today, but it's supposed to cool off a little bit tomorrow and into the weekend. So I was like, well, let's just wait until it cools off a little bit before we try doing like a long strenuous hike, but 
we'll most likely be filming something as we go on our hike. Let's go. Come on. Apollo. Come on. He's just been, he has been such a little investigator recently. Um, he, we, we've been going on just like hikes around, you know, around the neighborhood like we normally do, but he has been really into stopping and sniffing every little thing. And I know dogs do that, but he's been really into it recently, like, and it's harder to keep his attention, which is not ideal. Um, but yeah. What do you think? What is it? There's lots of little prairie dog holes everywhere. This way. Kind of want to keep an eye on him because it is warmer out. So I'm like, oh, there could be snakes and stuff. So I'm just kind of keeping my eyes on the path and, you know, just trying to make sure it's, n it's never foolproof, you know, unless I kept him on the leash the entire time, but try to keep a little bit of an eye out for him. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it's been, I don't even know how long it's been since I filmed a vlog. Feels like it's been a while, but I'm sure it hasn't been that long. Um, but yeah, work's going good. Things are, knock on wood, a little bit more quiet and manageable recently. Um, I did have a lot going on when I left. That was another reason I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't take the time off, but um, it just, I just needed it. Um, but yeah, I, uh, had like a bunch of projects that were almost at the cusp of needing a bunch of action, probably like six or seven different positions that I'm hiring for either, you know, managers were finishing with interviews, so they were going to make their final selections or we had collected the candidates we needed. So we were going to schedule interviews. Like everything was like almost time for next steps, but I just sent an email to my coworker who's covering for me. I was like, here's all my stuff. So I may check in with her tomorrow just to be like, hey, just wanted to uh, make sure everything's going okay and there wasn't a ton of stuff that that you're being left with. I don't want her to feel stressed out. So I'll probably check in, but she's an awesome recruiter, so I don't think I have to worry about it. But anyway, how you doing, buddy? It's hot out here, huh? Maybe we'll just do one lap and then we'll do something later. This way. Come on. Up, up. This way. Good boy. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's blazing. I've got the, got all the sunscreens on. <laughs> all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, work's going good. Uh, we had, what did we have? I feel like we had something. Oh, we had a hiring event on Monday of this week. Um, we were hiring for one of our more entry-level positions where we have uh, a relative turnover, you know, anytime, anytime you have those entry-level kind of, uh, not low-level, they're very important jobs, but like just an entry-level position, one of our kind of like, you know, just think of it like if you're in retail, like your part-time sales associate level role, and those tend to have higher turnover. Um, so we do these hiring events for that position. Um, we've done, I think this was our second one that I've done since I've been here. We did one just a few months ago, but we ended up needing like 10 more people. Come on, buddy. Let's go. We needed about 10 more people. Um, so we do these hiring events. We just post a bunch of ads out there and, um, and we basically have an open house. So some people will schedule interviews. Um, if they've submitted an application, we'll go ahead and schedule an interview. So we have a tracker and we set up um, one of our big conference rooms. It's actually like three different conference rooms and the managers for the roles will go so they can do the interviews and talk to people. So it's like interviews on the spot. And, uh, we had about, I think, a dozen interviews scheduled. We had 10 people show up, which is great. 
But then we had a pretty good amount of just walk-ins of people who were like, yeah, I saw the ad, wanted to come in and learn a little bit more about it. So we had probably about eight to 10 of those. So a really good turnout and it definitely kept us busy. So I sit in the, this way, this way, I sit in like the main admin building and welcome people as they come in, security lets them in, we check them in. And then we have somebody that's like a runner that takes them back to the other building where we have all of our conference rooms and stuff. So I just kind of message people on the, my other, the rest of the team that's back there. I'm just like, hey, we've got, you know, XYZ person that came in. They're headed back for, their inter for an interview. So that's kind of how we do it. And then we kind of show them around a little bit and then uh, they check out with security and off they go. But this time we swapped who was doing the running. And just because of the amount of people we had, I was like back and forth and back and forth and then we usually get lunch delivered that day, so I went and grabbed the lunch and brought it back for everyone. So it was a busy day, and I'm also trying to keep up with my actual like day-to-day -day work stuff. That way, I wasn't leaving quite as much when I um, when I left for the week. So it was good. It was very successful. I hope um, you know people still have to pass their drug screens and background checks and all of that stuff before they can actually get hired, but. We essentially offer them jobs on the spot. So that was good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Gotta keep an eye on you through these grasses. Um, so yeah, and then Tuesday I just kind of did some final, you know, catching up with all of my open positions and then sent like a little recap email to my coworker. That way she, uh, she knew what was going on. But yeah, it hasn't been too bad. What do you have? Ugh. Easy, easy, easy. Whoa, easy, easy. Yeah, don't eat that. Let's get you through this little patch here. I feel like, uh, this, air, this little area always has something that he wants to grab, and then he'll like take off down this hill. So I kinda keep extra close attention to him down this hill. Like, don't grab something alive, please. <laughs> right, buddy? Come here, come here. Oh yeah, you're very cute. You're a very cute dog. Um, so yeah, that was, that was work. Oh, I guess um, I totally didn't film anything this past weekend because I was kind of like one ahead on my, this way, Apollo. I was like one ahead for my vlogs, I think. And so, oh, actually, no, I, feel, I did a skincare post yesterday in place of a vlog. Apollo, let's go, let's go this way. I don't know what he sees. Apollo, come on, baby. Hop up. Hop up. Yeah, that's hot, huh? It's hot for a dog. Um, so yeah, this past weekend, before we got to my work week, um, it was Friday and my, my roommate, Jeff, texted me, his girlfriend's out of town he actually just left last night to go meet her. They're going to a wedding and then he's going back to his hometown for a week. So I'll have the apartment to myself for essentially two weeks. And um, he, he sent me a message. He's like, hey, did you know that it's the something meteor shower this whole week and the, the highest day is supposed to be on Saturday? Um, so the next day he's like, do you want to do an impromptu camping trip. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Didn't really have anything else planned. And I'm not a super, like, I'm not super into like stargazing and stuff, but um, I thought it'd be cool. It was supposed to be the biggest me like meteor event of the year. And so we got some supplies on Friday night after work. And then Saturday we hit the road. We ended up going up towards Red Feather Lake, which is 
where I've taken you all a number of times. It's one of my favorite areas because it's a little bit more quiet. It's in north, northern Colorado, kind of northwestern Colorado. And so we drove up there together. We were going to take his truck, but it's like a big old two-door, you know, older, like late 90s Dodge Ram diesel. And it's not the most comfortable car. And I don't think it has AC. And so I was like, let's just take my car. I'm not planning on us going off-road necessarily. And if something does get a little sketchy, then we can always double back and try another way. And so we went up there, super pretty drive. He's never been up to that area. He's driven through there, but he's never camped up there. So all of my friends are much more into like the higher mountains camping, like way up in the mountains. And so this is kind of not big, huge mountains, but still pretty tall. Come on. He's got whiff. He's got a whiff. This way. Apollo. He got something on his nose. Let's go. It's a little bit more open here, so I kind of wanted to get to this place. This way. He's gone. He's gone. Apollo. Come on. I don't know what he sees. Apollo. Hey. Come on. Let's go. Apollo. That's the wrong way. Let's go. This way. <whistles> Hold on, I might have to chase him down. Okay. He's coming back. He's coming back. Come on. Come on. What was it? What was it? What got your attention? You little brat. Um, so yeah, my, most of my buddies like to go up, up, up high and really up there in the mountains. And this is in the same distance into like into the Rockies, like west, but it's just lower elevation overall. So we're not like above the tree line or every, anything. We're like deep in the woods. And so we got to, we started passing some of these campsites down this forest road and everything was just, there's a lot of people up there to start. And I think it's because of, of the meteor shower. So there's a lot of folks that wanted to go see it. Um, that area isn't a, necessarily a designated dark site, site, but no towns around, nothing major, so you don't get the light pollution, so you really clear skies. And so I was like, let's just keep going down these forest roads until we get far enough away from people. So we really went deep into the woods and finally found this spot because some of the campsites were right next to the forest road, so I was like, eh. So we found this spot that was tucked away right next to a stream, nobody around at all. And it was just awesome. It was an awesome campsite, plenty of space. There was already a fire pit built. We just had to go and get the wood. Um, so Apollo was loving it. He was romping around like a maniac. And I have a clip from, from it. I took just a little clip of the campsite with my um, selfie stick. So if I can remember to insert that in, I will, um, either at the end or just somewhere, somewhere it'll be here. If I remember. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was uh, Dr. Dre. She is a board certified dermatologist and she does skincare YouTube. I was listening to one of her videos on the way up here. <laughs> um, so anyway, so we had a blast. We only went up for one night, but the stars were incredible. I tried recording it, but my camera just wasn't picking it up. But the shooting stars were just like the biggest and closest I've ever seen. And a lot of them had those big long tails on them. And it was so cool because we were like in this clearing, but surrounded by trees. So you just see the, the trees all around and then like the shooting star would just like shoot across. It was so cool. Um, so it was just he and I, we brought some burgers and, um, just some snacks and stuff. And so we ended up taking our sleeping pads and taking them outside of our tents and just laying them there and let the fire die down. 
Um, it was pretty cloudy until about like 10.30 at night, and then all the clouds cleared, and then you could see the stars, you could see the fuzziness of the Milky Way. It was just stunning. So we just laid out there, let the fire die, die down. It got a little cold, so we grabbed our blankets, and we were just laying out next to the fire, and Apollo got cozied up between us, so he was like keeping us warm. <laughs> And we just laid there and just watched the, the shooting stars. I'd say probably until about midnight, 1230. And then I had the bright idea to take the rain cover off of my tent. That way I could see through it because the top of it's like that mesh. So I took the cover off of just half of it. That way when I laid down, I could still see the shooting stars because, you know, it went all night. And so I got to watch the shooting stars as I was falling asleep, and oh, it was just gorgeous. I was like, I just needed that, you know? And so we had a blast. I woke up in the morning and I was freezing because I had the, the cover off, so none of the heat was being trapped in the tent. So I got Apollo all cozied up next to me under the blanket. He's like a little space heater. <laughs> he runs hot, <laughs> and so... Um, I had him as a little comforter, <laughs> and so we just snuggled, and then in the morning, we got up fairly early, probably around 7, 7.30, and we went on a little hike, just me and him, my buddy was still sleeping, and so we went on a hike, nothing crazy, just kind of up one of the forest roads, and then we just kind of bushwhacked around, um, and yeah, it was great. Apollo, let's go. He looks like he's about to roll in something. Apollo, come on, let's go. This way. Hey, buddy, come on. Ooh, I didn't like the sound of that. I think that was just a bug. Come on, let's go. Let's go. What is it? What is it? Come here. Easy. I'm gonna keep you on leash for a little bit. I thought I heard something. Okay, it's like, I'm sure it's just a bug, but now I'm, I just don't want anything to happen. Um, there's not very many people out here right now because it is so hot and it's kind of midday. Um, it's like two or three o'clock, I think. Um, so yeah, it was awesome. It was great. We went on a little hike and then when we got back to camp, my buddy was waking up. So we kind of packed up and left. I want to say around like 10, 1030, and then drove home. It's about a two hour drive. And so, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We uh, stopped and got food on the way up. Um, his birthday's on Saturday. And so I got, we got like a little mini cake and stuff and brought that back home because he's out of town for his birthday. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was just a one day trip, but I definitely needed the little break from the city and just, you know, stepping, physically stepping away from work and stuff was nice. So, um, yeah, that's about all that happened as far as life stuff goes. Just been taking the boy for short walks throughout the week. We did one walk up at the forest dog park trail that we normally go on, but I forgot my um, batteries for the camera. So I got there and I was like, no. And I had take them, taken the one that I had in the camera out so I could charge them. So I had left them at home charging. I was like, no. So I just did a regular walk. <laughs> it was like, Is, are you really walking if you're not talking to everyone? <laughs> Does it count? So yeah. Um, but other than that, that's kind of all the, the life stuff that's going on. Like I said, tomorrow, it's supposed to cool off, so I'm planning on doing a uh, more mountainous hike with Apollo. I already ear, uh, bookmarked a couple of places on all trails that I'd like to go to. And then we may do it again on Saturday, um, do another day trip. I don't really want to camp. I don't love, I mean, I, I will camp by myself. I don't have a problem camping by myself and um, I, I do it, but um, if it's just going to be here in Colorado, I don't know. I'll think about it. I may camp tomorrow. I don't know. I like it. I like the solitude. 
I was even thinking of bringing a little diamond paint painting up with me, like a smaller kit to get started on or something. Just have a relaxing day or something like that. I haven't decided. Otherwise, it'll just be day trips um, out and then, you know, I can sleep in my own bed, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But that's the plan for the next couple of days. And then on Sunday, my buddy Spencer, who lives downstairs, he text, he sent me a text message. He's like, are we still going to Waterworld on Sunday? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, I thought you were tossing around the idea of going back to Waterworld this coming Sunday. And I was like, maybe I did, but that must have been like around the time that we first went back in June. Like, I don't even remember that we picked a day or anything. He's like, yeah, you said you wanted to go the third weekend of August. And I was like, oh, come here, come here. Good boy, good boy. Um, so I was like, I guess maybe I said that. Sure, let's go. So Sunday, we're going back to the water park. I'm gonna try my best. I don't know what their policies are, but this camera is waterproof. And so I'm gonna try to film at least clips of going on some of the rides. I just don't know if they'll let you. Um, I've seen it done before, like on YouTube, there's plenty of people that are like, we're at XYZ Water Park and we're going on this water slide and they'll have their like selfie camera, or they'll have it strapped to their chest. But I just wanna make sure that I'm being safe. So I might either call or just ask when I get there if it's allowed. And if it is, then I can at least get in the wave pool and go on some of the more family rides and stuff with you all. So if I can do that, I will. Um, but it's still not 100% confirmed. Spencer asked me if we were still going. I said, sure, why not? But I haven't asked anybody else. Um, I'm sure Scott would be down, um, but I might just send a, a group text out tonight and just say, hey, are we, are we going or is this happening? So I'd love to go again. I, I love Waterworld. So I think next year I'll probably get a season pass because now by the time I bought two tickets, I'm 20 bucks away from getting a season pass anyway. So I might just do that. Um, that way next year we can go a lot. Um, so yeah, and then tonight, we're going to finish this hike. I'm going to try to get him pretty tuckered out so he'll, he'll conk out. Try to get a little bit of diamond painting done, some more laundry. And then we may go out for karaoke. I've been uh, practicing a song that I really want to test out. So um, we'll see. <laughs> um, it's called Param Param. Um, it's by Kylie Minogue. It's like one of her newer songs. I don't even think the album's out yet, just the single. So if you haven't listened to Padam Padam, it's like P-A-D-A-M, Padam Padam by Kylie Minogue. Um, yeah, I've been practicing that song in the car. So listen to it and sing along. <laughs> um, so yeah, I might go do some karaoke. So I'm like, maybe I can get him plenty tired out. That way he'll just conk out in his crate while we're gone. But karaoke doesn't start until nine tonight. Um, so he's usually pretty worn down at the end of the day anyway. Um, he still has, he's still a high energy pup for sure. But now that he's getting into his like full adult mode, I don't have to like, he's not demanding like a miles long walk every day. Um, we can just do about a mile and a half, two miles in the evening around town and he's good to go. Plus some, you know, play in the house, you know, playing tug of war and fetch and running around the backyard a little bit, of course, but he's definitely calmed down a little bit um, as opposed to when he was younger. I could play with him inside all day and run around the backyard all day, but he still needed a couple miles, you know? So now he's a little bit more chill in the evenings. He'll kind of flop down around nine o'clock and he's done. And then he's so good about going to bed. He used to fight me, not fight me, but he would, I'd be like, all right, time for bed. And he'd look at me and then like jump up at the couch. I'm like, no, this way. And then he'd go to the back door, like, let's go outside and play a little bit more. And I'd have to like coax him 
into going to bed that now he'll be like on the floor sleeping or just relaxing and I'm like, all right, bedtime. And he gets up and jumps right into bed. He's like, all right, I'm good. <laughs> and he sleeps. I mean, he's always slept through the night, but he definitely does. He used to sometimes wake me up in the morning. He'd be my alarm clock. And now I'm the one that has to get us going. So he's just a little bum, right? Right, buddy? Yeah. Let's get to the end of this run. And we're gonna stop for a little water break because it is hot. And I don't think you got a big gulp of water before we left, so. Um, so yeah, that's kind of this week as far as plans go. Things might change. Um, my friend Dom reached out to me. She wanted to do dinner on Sunday, so maybe after the water park or maybe I can convince her to come with us. We'll see. There's just so many grasshoppers that make little noises in the grass. And I'm like, oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Come on. Good boy. Let's get to the top of this hill. Ooh, it is hot, buddy. We got this, we got this. It's not even that big of an incline, it's just hot. Whew. We're both gonna need some water. We've already done one and a quarter miles. That's good, that's good. Whew. Let's see. Yeah, the UV index is pretty high today, and it's 92. Oh, a little breeze. Sorry if that's messing with the audio, but that feels really nice. <laughs> Let's go a little bit further. I think there's a bench up here. Whew. Um, but yeah, what else has been going on? Um, I've been trying to work out some more. Um, actually doing like planks and crunches and push-ups and some leg lifts, some side crunches in the mornings, some good stretching too. Um, so I've been trying to do that every morning as much as I can, just trying to get back into the strength training stuff. Um, we have We have a gym at the office, so once I get in the habit of doing just body weight stuff, then I'll probably start incorporating a couple times a week using some weights. But right now it's just creating the habit of wanting to do that. So it's been good. The stretching has been helping a lot. Um, I was kind of surprised when we went up camping. Um, we had to chop wood, obviously, or get wood. And so the, where we were camped was kind of at the bottom of this valley where this stream was. And then on either side of us was uphill. And so no matter where we went to go get our firewood, we had to climb uphill. And luckily there was plenty of downed trees to scavenge from. Um, so, but you had to climb uphill, you know, at an angle break off the big old branches and stuff and then carry them back down and then climb back up the hill. And so we did that for a good long while. I mean, there wasn't really much else to do. So we just spent like a couple hours when we got there just collecting wood. And oh my gosh, I was sweating bullets, but I managed. Like it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't too much. It was just work, you know what I mean? So I didn't I didn't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted, I wanna quit. I was actually kinda into it. It was fun just kinda bushwhacking through through the woods and um, and Apollo was running around and he, he was doing this thing that was so freaking cute. He would grab a big old branch and carry it back down the hill with me with my bundle and he wanted to play with them. He'd play with them for a little bit, 
but then he'd drop them next to our pile and then come back and get another one. He was absolutely helping us carry the wood down. It was adorable. Sometimes he got a little distracted, but I had treats with us. He had uh, freeze-dried rabbit treats, and so I'd kind of coax him away from his stick with the treat, and then he'd come back and grab another log and then bring it back. It was amazing. He, I think he likes having the work and like having a task. I think he is a work-based dog, which I know Malamutes are, but he was into it. So I need to remember to make sure to give him a task when we go, when we go up camping, because he had a blast. I think that's another reason why he was so pooped at night. It's because he was working hard, huh, buddy? Come here, over here. Where's your bowl? Oh, is it hot? He's sitting in the shade. Are you a hot dog? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's his bowl. Okay, let me let me get you some water. Come here. There you go, big boy. Whew. Oh yeah, it's hot. Oh yeah, it's hot. You better drink that water. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Look at him. You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, he liked having his little task. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was able to kind of crank out a couple hours of hot um, hauling wood down from the mountain and chopping it up with my buddy. We had so much because we kind of got in the zone and it was just the two of us. But we lit our fire probably about five o'clock um, and we burned, we had a fire going until probably about 1, uh, 12.30, one in the morning when we let it die out completely. And we still had a ton of wood left over because we had just gone to town chopping it. And so whoever camps there next, they're gonna have a decent pile, probably enough to go another night. But yeah, we went a little overboard. But you know, when you're up there, it's, there's not a ton to do, you know? It wasn't blazing hot by any means. I think it was in like the, the 70s, high 70s, but still, once you're exercising, you really get, you know, get your workout in. So yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. We, uh, we had a blast, Apollo had a blast. Are you done? Let me take a drink too. Ooh, boy. Do you want some more? I have a backup. I have a backup bottle. There you go, sweetheart. Oh. Okay, we're getting a little breeze. Ooh, and we've got a big old cloud. Is that cloud? Yeah, we've got a big old cloud coming in. That's gonna be nice. Maybe we can finish this hike without too much more direct sun. What do you think? What do you think? Or finish this walk, I should say. We're at 1.41 miles. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. Put the headphones back. Do you want any more or are you good? Is that a good break? We're a little less than halfway. Yeah, we're a little less than halfway. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh you got sleepies in your eyes. Oh, oh, okay. Any more? Finish it up. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, you're thirsty, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Up, up. Let's go. Good boy, good boy. You got this. Oh. Okay. Okay. This way. Um. Oh, that's nice. Maybe it'll rain a little bit. That would be awesome. You can see the, hopefully you can see the cloud cover up there, blocking the sun a little bit. Um, so yeah, camping trip was fantastic. Um, the rest of this week is kind of planned out. Um, and yeah, that's really all I did. Um, we can talk about diamond painting stuff. We might as well, since, you know, this is supposed to be <laughs> majority diamond painting channel. Um, as far as whips go, I'll talk about all the ones I didn't work on, so just in case you've forgotten. Um, I have Woman in Gold, 
has drills down on it. And then I have my Darth Vader cross stitch conversion. Uh, Woman in Gold's from Diamond Dots. The uh, Darth Vader is uh, Heaven and Earth Designs and Francesca's Studio Works. Um, so those are the two that have drills down that I haven't touched. I haven't touched those in like, I want to say weeks, if not, yeah, probably at least two weeks, if not longer. Um, and then I have my Jaded Gem Shop, ooh, uh, Jaded Gem Shop mystery kit. Um, the artist there is Hannah over at Iterations Crafts. Oh, I also have Moose and a Lob Moose, my other cross-stitch conversion that has drills down on it. No work done on that. I haven't touched that thing in, gosh, over a month, I think it's been at this point. Um, and I think those are the three that have drills down that I haven't touched. So I have my Jaded Gem Shop mystery kit, and then I have... Um, which is greenhouse ready to go for drills and chills. That's kitted up, no drills on it. Um, and then the only kit that I've been working on is Senorita from Jaded Gem Shop and the artist is Henry Clive. I wanna say I am 92% done. I have six, six sections left. I am really getting there. <laughs> um, I've been focusing all of my diamond painting energy on that kit, um, just pushing through. It's been a lot of fun. I like it. I get in modes where I'm like, oh, I'm going to take a day off or, you know, I all only dynamite, diamond paint for like 30 minutes. And I'm like, okay, um, just because I'm only working on that kit and it's a square high confetti. And so usually when I get like that, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to switch over to a round. But I haven't been doing that. I'm really dead set on getting this kit done this month. So I've just any diamond painting time I have, I just work on work on Senorita. Um, and I've had a, I've had a decent amount of diamond painting time over the past week um, or so since the last time we've we've spoken. So I, I have gotten a decent amount done. So that's good. I plan on getting at least another four sections done by the time my I don't want to say at least I want to I want to get close to four sections done by the time my long weekend is over. So I'll probably do some more when we get home probably some tomorrow night when we get back from our hike, the same with Saturday and then and Sunday. So I should have some more time to to get some more of that done. Um, I just would really like to get it done by the end of the month because that will have been 11 months since I started that kit. I started it on September 9th, I think, of 2022. And so I really don't want it to take a year to have gotten that done. But I can see why it did. It's an 80 by 110 centimeter square drill canvas. Very confetti heavy, as are a lot of Jade's canvases. So, but it's gorgeous. I finished her face um, last week and got her, like her eyes done. I still have the top of her head to do like her forehead, but I have her eyes done and it's just stunning. I can't stop looking at it. Um, I've been posting a lot. I've been posting updates, diamond painting updates on Instagram every couple of sections. So if you are hungry for more diamond painted, diamond painting related stuff from me, head over to the single and placing Instagram because I do post um, updates as I finish like a couple of sections, I'll post an update. So that's where you'll get more like every few days updates for me on diamond painting because I don't do whip and chats. And because this kit is so big and it's all I'm doing, I haven't had a finish and review for a minute. And so I haven't really had much diamond painting content to share. Whoa, that is a big grasshopper. Do you see that? You don't see that? Oh, oh buddy. That thing is huge. I thought it was a frog at first. Holy moly. Um, so yeah, I just, I haven't had a lot of diamond painting related content to, fil to film because I, I haven't done a sit down whip and chat. And I don't know when that will happen because it gets hot in the house without the AC on. And when I do have the AC on, it's in the craft room and it's very loud. So I can't really film anything much longer than like 20 minutes in there without getting overheated. Unless I was to film in the middle of the night, which I guess I could do. 
Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably, I'll try to get whipping chats going again, maybe when it cools down in the fall. Um, or if I get a wild hair and decide to film one at night, um, like late at night, I will. But otherwise, um, yeah, usually it's just like unboxings and then I have a finish and review, but it's taken me so long, you know, it's taken me so long to work on Senorita that I haven't had much to share. But I am diamond painting, I promise you. If Once again, editing Anthony, if you can put in a progress photo of Senorita to prove to everyone that you're not just messing with them. I am diamond painting, I promise. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that kit's going along well. Uh, I'm, there's a lot of background that I'm working on now, the background color and then part of the what I'm assuming is sun. So it's less confetti. Um, I might get, I'm, I'm probably getting back into confetti mode because I'm at the top of her head where her, her lace headpiece kind of comes up above her head. So probably the next section that I reveal is going to be back to confetti, but the background does have confetti, but also a lot of color blocking, which is nice. So it's been a good mix and it's why I've been making good progress on it. So fingers crossed that I keep making good progress on it, um, keep pushing through. And yeah, I'd like to get, if I could get that entire thing done by the end of next week, third week of August, that would be great. And then I'd have a little bit of like a, maybe a week long hiatus before I dive into, um, dive into my next kits. I'm thinking what I want to do next is Darth Vader, the cross stitch conversion, just start cranking through that because that is a Christmas gift. And then I need to pick out a round drill canvas to kit up because um, I will be intermixing that with round drill because cross stitch conversion goes even slower and I will need a break. So I want to find a, a round drill canvas to work on. Um, I have a couple ideas of what I might want to work on, but then I'm immediately like, oh, but you're going to want to enhance it. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to buy specialty drills right now. I'm trying to cut, cut spending down and be a little bit more frugal. So I might just do a canvas straight up with no enhancement drills, as much as it pains me to say that. <laughs> or maybe I can find something that I can use my leftovers from the, what I currently have in my stash. We'll see. But I was thinking uh, Borealis by Henry Clive and Jaded Gem Shop. Um, one, of my other, one of my other Jaded Gem Shop kits that's around is most likely going to be it, but in my head I was thinking I was going to enhance the enhance it to the gods, but I might not. I might just do it straight up, save the money. Even though I love DP with sparklers and I would give Tima all my money if I could, but I, I am trying to save. <laughs> um, I have a trip to Nashville coming up for work that I want to have some fun money for, and then me and uh, Apollo are most likely going to do a road trip in October, so I, I want to get the Airbnb, and you know, so I'm just like, do I want to spend the 50, 60 bucks on on enhancement drills for a big old canvas, or do I want to have that for a nice meal in Nashville, you know? So that's kind of where my head's at right now. I may also end up doing a round drill Diamond Art Club, a, a medium-sized kit, just so I can make quick progress on it and feel like I got a good finish after this long project with Senorita. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I have plenty of storage containers to kit stuff up into. Um, and I've got plenty to choose from. So I'm not sure. haven't decided which way I want to go on that yet. But I'll have a round drill going plus Darth Vader. If I can get Darth Vader done by... Um, uh, I mean, I guess by December <laughs> is the goal. I'm sure I can get it done before then, but by Christmas is the goal, really. Um, and then I'll have Witch's Greenhouse to work on um, over the fall. And other than that, I have one big square from Diamond Art Club that I want to get started on. So I'm, I don't know, I'm going to work it in somewhere next month, at least starting on it. Um, and I won't disclose why yet because it's, I have some content that I'm excited about. So I'm at least going to try to get started on that one. 
And yeah, other than that, no, oh, actually that's a lie. Um, so as far as what I have coming in, um, I haven't made any purchases. It's been a while. I don't, I don't even remember. I think maybe the last kit that I got was astronomer for Mia's event in January. And I think that was about a month ago that I got that. So maybe it's been about a month since I've um, purchased any diamond painting related stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of nothing that I purchased. However, I have a, a diamond painting company that I've partnered with before um, to do some like a sneak peek or kind of a reveal um, or unboxing of their canvases. And so I was speaking with that shop owner and they just launched, um, recently launched one of my favorite artists on their site. And so we were chatting about that. Hold on. Hi. Um, we were chatting about that and the shop owner was like, well, why don't I send you one so you can do a little unboxing and spotlight? And I was like, oh my gosh, that would be incredible. I was planning on getting these anyway. And so um, I got a, sh a shipment notification that a package was gonna be delivered tomorrow. And I was like, oh, interesting. So I was like, well, I didn't get an, usually last time that this company, this shop sent me stuff, I got an email saying, here's what's coming. Um, and the shop owner surprised me with, um, with some extra stuff. And so I looked at my email and lo and behold, I did have a, a purchase notification from the shop and they once again were absolute sweethearts and sent me an extra kit and I actually got to see it this time. So I am like shaking with excitement about these two kits. I'm there. I'm like over the moon. So I'm absolutely probably going to start on one of them pretty much immediately because I do want to um, show this shop some love. And so I'll probably do the unboxings and film them um, if I have some time tomorrow night. And I'll probably, I already had next week's unboxing filmed and scheduled, but I'll probably bump that in favor of two weeks of highlighting this shop. And I may even film a kidding up video because it'll be the first time I've uh, worked on a square drill canvas from this shop. So I can kind of show the quality of the squares and stuff. So you may actually see a kidding up from me, which will be surprise, I guess has, it's been a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll probably get started on one of those right away. Um, I don't know how much progress I'll make on it, but I at least want to get started on it. <laughs> so. So yeah, that way I can start talking about it and highlighting it on Instagram and just kind of lift that shop up. So stay tuned. Um, depending on when this vlog goes up, it, you may have already seen one of the unboxings. I'm not sure um, as far as scheduling what I'll do with this. Um, usually I put my vlogs up on Wednesdays. So it'd be this coming Wednesday, if it isn't Wednesday today that you're watching this or when it went up. but. I may, oh, that's a dead bird. You don't want that. Um, but I may get a wild hair and post this early. That way, if we do have a water park vlog, that'll go up at its, on a Wednesday. I don't know. We'll see. Plus, I'm planning on doing more vlogs um, this the next two days for hiking. They may just be hike with musics if I don't have anything to chat about. Um, but yeah, let's see what we're looking like. We're at 2.15. I think one lap Apollo will be good if we can get three miles in. I think that's a good that's a good walk for you, especially with this heat. Oh, there's just a random black dog up there. Where's your owner? Here it comes. All right, depending on how this goes, everyone, I might pause you. We'll see. Yeah, let me figure this. Oh, nope. It ran away. I think it might be scared. I think that puppy's scared of you. It's like, that dog's the opposite color of me. What? Ah. 
Is that a rabbit or something? I hear that too. Oh, it's another dog. Wow, there is random dogs just running around. Come on, let's go. That scared me. I definitely thought that was a snake. It was a dog. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Want to wait for this cyclist to go by? Hi. Yeah. This way. Um, but yeah, I want to do that, sh those unboxings, first looks, whatever you want to call them, and a kitting up for one of the two kits. I think I know which one I want to do. Um, so yeah, I have those coming in, which I'm super excited about. I, I'm so thankful that I still have these, you know, I have these great relationships with some small shops and have the ability to to do that. And I love the fact that, I love that I can work with this shop and it's kind of a no strings attached situation. You know, the shop owner hasn't asked me to like, I don't, I, I'm under no obligations to do anything, which I, which sounds selfish, I guess, but just with kind of my mindset now around diamond painting and time and, and investment and all of that stuff, it's nice to know that like, hey, if, the, if I was sent these kids and I'm just not feeling like recording diamond painting stuff, I don't, I'm not under any obligation, which is just, it's nice. I'm glad that I have those connections. Um, so yeah, let's see. Where's this guy going? He's going that way. Um, so yeah, the only shop that I have been keeping an eye out for is, and I need to text her, is Mary. Uh, Mary Making Crafts, aka Mary Mud. Um, she was on a trip. I hope she doesn't mind me saying this. She's mentioned it on her lives. But yeah, she had a trip that she went on, and then I know that she wasn't feeling well this past week. So her shop's been on vacation mode for the past couple of weeks or a few weeks. And so that is one shop that I'm like ready for because even though I have plenty of Mary Mud, um, her and I have been working on a little something something um, coming down the pipeline. I guess I can talk about it, but I will put an asterisk here because even though I am not the type of person to be like, hey, I came up with that idea, blah, 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 blah. Um, or like, you know, this is exclusive or whatever, but I am gonna put a TM trademark, trademark, trademark around a couple of things that I'm gonna talk about because I am kind of pr proud of, or excited by these. And so I, I hope that they do, that these do resonate with people. I'll give as much details as I can, but if you see this pop up elsewhere, you heard me talk about it first. So um, I think I'm, I'm sure I've mentioned it, but I, I will be vague for part of this. So essentially, um, I was talking to Mary about doing a collaboration on a Mary Mud. Um, and no, I, I don't think I've talked about this, maybe. Um, doing a collaboration on a Mary Mud, I thought it would be really cool to not only have my stamp on something or have a, a say in something, but also, you know, if it encourages people to try her product because, you know, as a content creator or, you know, people that follow or watch my videos might be interested in, in purchasing something that's tied to myself, um, I thought it'd be a cool way, you know, maybe it'll give a little boost or create some, you know, maybe a couple people that have been on the fence about trying Mary Mud, they hear about this, they're like, okay, that's, that's my tipping point. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so we have been working on a um, single in placing Mary Mud. And so we've just been talking about the ideas for it and what might be really cool. And so I think we've come up with something really exciting. And so I'm pretty sure that once she's... Um, when she's getting her shop up and running, it's one of the upcoming 
uh, sense of Mary Mud that'll be released. So I'll keep you posted as soon as I, I get confirmation that it's being released in an upcoming release that I will mention it. And as soon as I get it in my hands, of course, I will film a video of it. But we've been working on this since, oh my gosh, since like March, I think. And so I think it's going to be happening soon. I'll just say soon. So be on the lookout for a Mary Mud X single in placing exclusive product. And then um, it's this, this next idea is completely, the ball is 100% in my court. I just haven't had time. Maybe I'll try to do it this weekend. But I am in talks with a diamond painting shop to release a, um, a curated selection of kits. Um, so it's, it's still a little soon, I'd say. We haven't worked out all of the details. We've confirmed that it's something that we want to do. It's just the logistics. I have no idea on timing. Um, I'll have to talk with the shop owner. I was thinking it might be beneficial if, if it happened by the holidays. You know, that way, you know, if people are in holiday shopping mode or it's gift giving time, Maybe you can drop a hint to your friend and loved one that you want one of these. Um, but I'm, uh, my goal or my project is to select the um, select the images. So I've been scraping through Wiki Commons, looking for some pieces that either really resonate with me or I think a lot of people would like. But I also want to pick stuff that's unique that hasn't been seen anywhere else at various shops. Um, and maybe stuff that even other shops might not even release because it's different and unique and, and niche. So I'm trying to find that blend between what I think people will really like, that, but also suits my taste, but also is, you know, something that you could only find at that shop, you know, pretty exclusive. But I have confirmed that um, this, this shop owner, their manufacturer, can make adjustments to the kit. So from what I understand, these canvases will literally say single and placing X this shop or this shop X single and placing like right on the kit. Like this will be an exclusive collaboration and I'm so excited. I think that's such a cool like next step is to kind of get involved in that. Like I don't think I'd ever start my own diamond painting um, shop, but this is a good kind of in-between to be able to like partner with a really popular and really high quality shop to, um, to curate some images that have my taste in them. I think, I don't know, I'm just so freaking excited. And really the only thing holding us back is me making some decisions on the artwork, but it's hard. It's not easy. <laughs> I'm like trying to, I'm like over analyzing everything. Like, oh, I don't know if people would be into that, but I really like it. Or I think that'd be really popular, but I've seen it, you know, it's been done. So I'm trying to find stuff that's like original yet will appeal to a lot of folks. So, um, yeah, I'm working on that. Um, I love to continue doing or have some more opportunities to do stuff like this, like, you know, feel feel more ingrained into the community um, in that way. I think that just I think it's just going to be really cool. Um, I'd love to do a, like a like I could even see like a series of pens. I could see, um, you know, a exclusive tray color. Like, just I'm just trying to think of like. How can I partner with shops and stuff? I don't know. It makes me feel like a bigger deal than I am. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I can't wait for the day that I get a diamond painting in the mail and it's got, it's got my name on the top of it, like in partnership with a brand. How freaking cool is that? So I hope, you, I hope that little teaser gets you, you all excited too. Um, and I'm looking forward to sharing sharing all of that. Maybe it'll happen by the end of the year. I'm not sure. Um, so what else? What else is going on? I should really get on picking those images now that I think about it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of 
everything that's happening in the diamond painting space. If you didn't see my last vlog, um, we decided to postpone the cross stitch conversion uh, 2023 event. It'll now be a 2024 event. Um, it was just a, a little, it, I was just feeling a little overwhelmed a couple of weeks ago, just with personal life stuff and just the idea of like needing to um, jump in on that. It was just, I don't know. I just, for whatever reason, it just felt, I could feel it in my bones that I need, that I personally needed some more time. And so even though now I'm feeling better, um, I'm feeling like work's calmed down a little bit. Mom's doing good. Um, I feel a little better, but I think you know when you know. You know when you're you're pushing yourself a little too much. Um, it's just either physically or mentally, whatever. And I, I definitely felt that. And so even though it's kind of ebbed, I think it was still a good decision. Um, I can ideally take, you know, the rest of this month in September just to kind of regroup maybe start some conversations around doing some of the back end stuff for the event that way when it does get closer i i'm not feeling like oh my gosh this is all needing to start from square one you know i can maybe pick at it and of course there's three of us so it's not like it's all on my shoulders by any means um we all have a lot to bring to the table for that but i just didn't want to disappoint them by being flaky or feeling overwhelmed or being frustrated for any reason, so I don't want to put that on anybody either. So I'd rather go into it being in a better headspace, and both Sophie and Hannah seem to uh, seem to take that well and respect that, and they're just both awesome people. I was thinking about it this week, just kind of thinking about the event, and I'm like, I'm so lucky that that we the three of us decided to work on this together because I couldn't ask for like more upbeat, positive, just like good natured people to, to engage with in, in that way. Um, it just I'm very thankful that, that they were willing to give me that flexibility. So hi, hi, Hannah. Hi, Sophie. If you're watching this, I love you. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on in the diamond painting world. Let's see what we're looking like. Um, Okay, we've got, we've got some battery left. We may have to swap the battery at a certain point. It's cooling off a little bit, which is awesome. Um, I may do another partial lap. We'll see what we're looking like. Um, or I could just save some of this for tomorrow's hike, <laughs> which I probably should do. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm not going to push it. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll have another update for you on Senorita if I get some more done today. Um, but yeah, that's kind of everything in the diamond painting space. We'll see how things progress. Um, I'll provide more updates on the cross stitch conversion event as we get closer. Um, but I am, uh, restock alert on diamond art clubs that they, they heard me. They heard me saying I hadn't bought something in a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, they've just been really, really flexible with me and, yeah, I don't know. I was definitely in this headspace even up until like a few days ago of like, do I continue the channel? Do I completely switch back over to skincare and hopefully people will follow me back? Do I merge the two channels? I just don't, I have been unclear on what to do there. Um, so I guess we can kind of get into the skincare of it all. Um, so I've been head first back into skincare content creation. I started writing vlog reviews again. Um, I think I've done seven reviews for seven different products. Just quick write-ups, about a half page write-up, maybe even less than that, maybe like five paragraphs. Um, enough that it just barely fits on Instagram. Other, and sometimes I do have to delete a little bit of it, but I write them for my blog, which if I can remember, I'll link here in the description box. So I have a blog where I've reviewed literally hundreds of products. Um, I used to write really long, like sometimes multi-page <laughs> reviews, diving into every aspect of a product. It would usually take me 
uh, two hours probably combined over the course of a few days to write it or I'd put together my notes throughout the entire month that I was trialing it and then make it make sense <laughs> at the end, kind of tie it all together. You want to go this way? You can go a little bit longer. Let's go this way. Um, so that's how I used to do it. Very in-depth, very detailed reviews of like my first week using it, second week, all of that stuff. And now I try to make them a little bit more bite-sized. I'm long-winded when I write and when I talk, <laughs> as I'm sure you know. Um, but I am trying to make them a little bit more consumable, especially for Instagram. And so I'm kind of writing for Instagram now. They're, they're very long for Instagram, but they at least fit and they're cohesive. So I've been doing that. I'm on my seventh product um, and updating my skincare tracker and I've been consuming a ton of skincare content just to get caught up on like new ingredients, new products, new brands, new um, schools of thought, you know, things change. And so just trying to get back into the swing of that. So I haven't been watching a lot of diamond painting content. I'll try to get um, get some more, um, get some more this weekend, but like I haven't been watching very many whipping chats or unboxings or like really anything. It's all skincare all the time because I'm just, you know, I'm falling, falling in love with it again. And so, um, yeah, I just need to get back into the finding some diamond painting content or getting back into my, my groove but I am just soaking it all up. I'm trying to be a sponge. That way I'm not, you know, when I am doing videos, I'm not relaying old information or outdated or misguided information. Things change. And so I wanna make sure that I have the most up-to-date knowledge. I wanna be abreast of new products and brands so I can um, be on the lookout for them. A lot of times when you're doing skincare content, it really is trendy. It's a trendy, trendy world to be in. So you, you kind of want to be, have your finger on the pulse of new releases and stuff and mix that in with some classics too, you know, old standards, old reliables, but people engage with you a lot more if you're talking about a product that just came out in the past couple weeks or past month, as opposed to oh, this product's been out for six years and I'm finally getting around to talking to it. And that's what a lot of my re most recent content has been because I'm just using the stuff that's in my skincare stash that, you know, is a little bit older, a little long in the tooth. So I'm trying to spark some more interest, kind of get my skincare Instagram um, up and running again, um, get the engagement up. And what I one thing I found that was so funny is when I was doing skincare content, I think my subscriber count, once again, it's not, it's not really about the numbers. This is just to compare and contrast. Um, my YouTube channel had around like, has around like 400 subscribers. And then my Instagram had, has about the same that I have on my diamond painting channel and around like 1200, 1300 folks. But when I was posting my skincare reviews on Instagram, I would be so happy when I got like past 10 or 20 likes, that was like acknowledgement for me. And I, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a big deal. And sometimes I'd get up into like the forties. That would be, I thought that was like amazing. And diamond painters are so much more involved and they are very supportive and compared to my skincare. Like it's just shocking to me how many, how much more engagement I've been getting around this craft and like it's not even it's more of like it's just so cool that people are so invested is what I, I guess I mean to say like people want to talk to you and want to engage with you it's just so cool so I'm hoping I can you know bridge that gap between the two and maybe generate some more interest I'd say my skincare videos here on single and placing hat are you know less watched, which makes sense because people are here for the diamond painting, but I'm hoping the folks that do do, um, do watch them get some good info out of it um, because I love sharing it. I love it. It's such a passion of mine. Um, but yeah, so just consuming a ton of skincare content, 
looking at shops, looking at what's new, making a couple purchases here and there. Um, I got sent um, a, a brand called Peach Slices, and I may have already mentioned this. Um, a brand called Peach Slices, you can get them at Ulta. Um, I was, I've been on their PR list for a while, and the, I think the day after, the day before I started writing my first review, I got this box in the mail and I was like, what is this? They sent me their entire new line of products for oil control completely out of the blue. I did not engage with anybody on their marketing team. I haven't talked to them in over a year, completely out of the blue when I started getting back into the skincare game, sent me all of their new products that just released. And I was like, is this a sign <laughs> that this is a right, the right move for me? And so um, I just started using their, actually it's been about five days, I've been using their oil control balancing facial mist and I love it. And then I just started last night using their oil control cleanser, which I also like. It has a little bit of eucalyptus in it, so this, the scent threw me off, but I don't mind a fragrance um, or essential oil in a wash off product as much as I do on a leave on product. Um, sometimes I can get irritated and I believe they use eucalyptus water and not the essential oil, which is a little less potentially irritating, but their other stuff isn't scented. So this one product kind of threw me off. I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting this to smell like eucalyptus, but it's good so far. It might be a little drying. I need more time with it, obviously, but um, it's supposed to be a whole product line around like balancing oil and mattifying the skin. And so sometimes those products can be a little bit drying, but we'll see. The mist is fantastic. It says it's a mattifying mist. I still find that it gives me a nice, healthy, kind of dewy, like glow from within. Not greasy, nothing like that. But they call it mattifying and I don't know if I'd call it that. I'm not sure yet, I need more time. But anyway, so yeah, they sent me this PR package with like their four new releases and it just helped to spark that in me. Like I'm still relevant, <laughs> you know? And people, are, whoever that is, whatever guardian angel I have at Peach Slices is still thinking about me, you know? Or hasn't deleted me off a list at least. So I do need to reach out to them via Instagram and thank them because that was really awesome. Their parent brand is called Peach and Lily. It's kind of their luxury brand. And that brand used to send me their new releases too. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm very optimistic. Um, I have yet to film, well, I tried. Um, I wanna film a video over on my skincare YouTube channel to introduce people to single and placing and ask people to move over. But that's kind of, I filmed that video, but it just, the camera overheated. It was just a mess. The audio wasn't recording properly. And so I took that as a sign to give it a little bit more time. Um, and I, I don't know, I may, I may continue to keep the channel separate um, and still share skincare stuff with you guys over here on single and placing but maybe just in the form of talking about it during the vlogs and stuff and incorporate it where I can. But I, I might keep the, the channel separate because I, I don't want people over here to get bored or annoyed, especially if I'm not doing as much diamond painting stuff. And in fact, it might be smarter of me to ask the folks that are interested in supporting me over there and following me over there to head on over to my skincare channel, and that's called AJK Beauty. Um, my nickname as a child, well, it is my nickname. My family nickname is AJ. It's my uh, first and middle initial. And then K Beauty, Korean Beauty. So AJK Beauty. Um, it also worked because there, people will also call Asian Beauty A Beauty, just Asian Beauty, and J, Japanese Beauty. So it kind of worked for multiple reasons. Um, where do you want to go? Do you want to go across the street? Do you want to go walk towards the lake or are we done? Are we done? Let's see.
Let's cross the street. You're on your leash. You can go across the street. Uh, yeah. Let's walk a little bit more. We'll just go for a little bit and loop back. Just have a couple more minutes. Give me a couple more minutes to talk. The battery's also getting low, so. Um, so yeah, that channel is called AJK Beauty. The more I think about it, and now that I've talked it through with you all, <laughs> um, I, I think I'm gonna probably keep them separate. They are two separate worlds for me. I will, I will get them to mesh um, in terms of talking about it in the life, just kind of my life stuff. But, um, oh, do, can I cross? Oh, they're letting me cross, awesome. Nice. Um, so yeah, I, I will continue to talk about my skincare stuff in vlogs. It's just, you know, it's something I, I spend time doing and I'm passionate about, but I don't want to feel like I'm forcing something upon everyone that might not necessarily be here for it. And then the same with my skincare channel. I, I don't want to force people that it just want to hear about ingredients and products to like watch a finish and review or like unboxings and stuff. As much as I'd love to bring it all together, um, the more I think about it, I think it might make more sense to keep things a little separate. I don't know, I, I flip flop. But what that means right now is I'll still probably share some skincare stuff here and there on this channel, mention it, but any specific product reviews I do, unboxings or hauls, any finish and empties, I'm probably gonna push those back over to AJK Beauty. And those of you that are interested in it and do like hearing about that stuff, then I encourage you to go over there and, and subscribe. There's a whole, there is a whole um, library of videos from when I used to do it. I don't know how many I have up, but it's a lot. There's a lot of content over there. So if you want even more Anthony rambling on, or if you like the company that I keep you, and maybe want to take a peek at what my previous life looked like, I'm um, doing skincare content, then I encourage you to check that out. You'll have hours and hours and hours of content to, to listen through to, and you can kind of see, see my, my, my former self when I was doing that stuff. Um, I went back and watched um, one of my, the, one of the last videos I did. It was called, um, it was called like skincare, wine, and cheesecake. And I sat down with my friend Dom, who I, um, who I mentioned, and you've seen her before. She was on, she did a whip and chat with me at the beginning of this channel. She's my best friend and I love her. Um, I guess we can flip back because we're almost done. Let's flip back. Good boy. Um, we did this wine, cheesecake, and skincare video where I put out a bunch of products and we just kind of talked about some stuff that would work for her skin while well, we drank wine and ate cheesecake. It's uh, not safe for work as far as like the language here and there. We, we kept it to a minimum, but still. But there's a blooper reel at the very end and I was dying laughing. I haven't watched that since I posted it over a year ago. And we just, we had such a blast. I want to keep doing that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, the, the channels will be separate. I'm going to keep them both going. I'm going to start posting skincare specific content over there. I'm going to keep this one more about general lifestyle and diamond painting and occasional skincare. So I'm not going to change. I changed my banner. I've changed my intro video or intro clip to say, I think it says like skincare outdoors, diamond paint or crafting and tangents. I'm going to keep that the same. It's still going to be me talking about whatever, but I'm going to try to breathe some life back into the skincare channel um, because we will get into nitty gritty about formulations and ingredients and all of that stuff. So I think it might be better served that way. And then you have the option. If you want to head over there, you want to give me some love, on that channel, you're more than welcome to, but I, I but you won't be forced to, <laughs> or you won't, I, you, you won't have to like look at it and be like, oop, gotta skip that one. It's a skincare video, you know? So 
I think that's how we'll do it. it. I think that makes the most sense. You'll have to let me know what you think. I kind of know in my head, but let me know if that sounds better and if following me over there when you want, you know, so you can watch it if, if and when you want to makes more sense. So anyway, I have much more that I'd love to uh, talk your ear off about, but I'm, I'm just pacing at this point. So we're going to get back to the car and get to the house. Um, and let that be that. So I hope you all, um, I hope you all enjoyed watching this vlog or this little walk. We did 3.5 miles. We burned 500 calories. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of it. Otherwise, happy placing, stay glowing. We'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.